Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Matt from JustExcelTutorials.com and today I will be demonstrating the concatenate function. If you haven't checked out my website for more cool Excel stuff, you can go to www.JustExcelTutorials.com. So check us out. Okay, so we have this data set. We have address, we have the city, state, zip code, first name, middle name or initial, and last name. And our ultimate goal is to get a full name and address in one cell in a mailing label format. And in order to do that, we're going to use the concatenate function. So let's go ahead and get our full name in here. We're going to go ahead and start with the concatenate function by keying in equals C O N and as you can see Excel auto populated the function all we have to do is continue to spell it out or we hit the tab key on the keyboard I simply hit the tab key and now I'm going to reference John and to end that reference key in comma go to my next cell reference clicked in F6 to end it, comma, G6, and then end parentheses, hit enter on your keyboard, and the concatenate function worked. As you can see, it says John M. Hells. However, we want some spaces in there, so we're going to go up to our formula bar, and we're going to edit, it, edit our formula. So we're going to click in between E6 and F6 right after the comma and we're going to key in on the keyboard quotation and then hit your space bar on your keyboard and then quotation comma okay that little symbol with a quotation space quotation enters a, will enter a space in between John and M now we want one in between M and Hells, so we're going to go between F6 and G6 in our formula and do the same thing. Quotation, space, quotation, comma, and all we have to do is key enter on the keyboard. And as you can see our full name populated with the correct spacing and everything that's supposed to be brought in. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this formula or this uh, this function down and we're going to use the fill in button and you just click and drag on the bottom right hand corner and so we're clicking and dragging and as you can see it populated all of our full name values for the first middle and last names so let's go ahead and do our address same type of thing key in equals concatenate hit the tab. Now I'm going to key over or arrow over to the reference that I want to f grab. So I went to the address field. Um, I'm going to reference cell A6 and I can also just key in A6. I don't need to reference it with my arrow key or my mouse. So keep that in mind. Whatever you prefer. Um, and then we're going to hit a comma on the keyboard go over to city so I'm going to use my arrow key I'm just arrowing over on my keyboard to city comma over to state comma over to zip code comma and then end your function with a quote or a parentheses hit enter as you can see our address populated however it's not in the form um, that we want it or the format we want it. So let's go ahead and edit our concatenate function. You can add the spaces and the different things when you're writing out the formula but for illustration of this learning tutorial I just kinda wanna go through the process um, to show you exactly what I am doing. So I'm gonna go up to my formula um, so I want to go in between A6 and B6. I'm going to enter quotation, 
mark, space, quotation, comma. Okay, so that's going to separate the address and city. Oh, wait. No, we don't want to just separate the address and city. We want to add a, a separate line. And in order to do that, we're going to use a char 10. Um, this is this will give us a separate line or we'll make the city state and zip go down to another line so we're gonna key in C H A R parenthesis one zero for ten comma now that's going to add a line in into our formula now we want to get the city and state um, with a comma in between them so to, in order to do this we add a quotation mark and put a comma in there in quotation mark now the quotation mark comma quotation mark is going to enter a insert a comma in there um, and then we want to key in another comma in order to say this is separate in the formula however we want a space in there too so we can either read add another quotation space quotation or we could just go back to this quotation comma quotation and hit the space bar once and as you can see it added a space all right so now we want a space in between the the state and zip again quotation space bar quotation comma and go ahead and key enter on your keyboard um, we want to expand our row so you just go over to the left hand side get the the cursor to to look like the arrow the top arrow and bottom arrow um, in between six and seven and just double click and as you can see the the, ex, the cell expanded um, and here's our our new address and from bringing in the address city and state address city state and zip so we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste so I'm just gonna do the auto fill or the filler button and I copied and pasted pasted that down okay now I want to get the full name and full address all together. All right, so we're going to start out with our concatenate function again. So, and then I'm going to reference reference h6, comma i6, and parentheses. Let's see how it comes out. Let's just go ahead and hit enter. And as you can see, I put the address um, up with the name. So let's go ahead and put in a char 10 in there. So we're going to go up to our formula bar. In between the H6 and the I6, I want to add a char, C-H-R, open, parenthesis, one zero, end parenthesis, and then comma, and hit enter. And we can't see the rest of the, the value of the full name and address, so we're going to go over between the six and seven of the rows to get this arrow, top arrow and bottom arrow type of look, and um, double click, and that expands out our cell reference or our cell. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste all the way down, and we come to our goal of having an address label with the name and address um, f arriving from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different fields um, into one field. So that concludes our concatenate function. There's a lot you can do with the concatenate function and it's very useful when you're combining a bunch of data items well, you check us out at www.justexceltutorials.com for more insightful tutorials. Thank you for listening and watching.